Nikola Tesla and the Secrets of the Number 369. He is best known for his contributions to the design of the main AC system. Tesla gained experience in telephony and electrical engineering before emigrating to the United States in 1884 to work for Thomas Edison in New York City. Tesla soon broke away from Edison and founded his labs and companies to develop a number of electrical appliances. George Westinghouse purchased the rights to exploit Tesla's patent for the induction engine and converter, and Westinghouse appointed him for a short time as his advisor. Tesla's work for years to develop electric power was part of the current war between AC and DC supporters, as well as the patent war. In 1891, Tesla obtained U.S. citizenship. Tesla continued to work on his ideas on wireless lighting, high-voltage electrical distribution, and high-frequency energy experiments, and in 1893 he stated the possibility of making a wireless connection to his devices. Tesla tried to implement these ideas by trying to make intercontinental continental radio broadcasting in his unfinished project Wardingcliffe Tower. In his lab, he also conducted a series of experiments on oscillators, mechanical generators, electrical drainage tubes, and initial X-ray imaging attempts. He also built a wirelessly controlled boat, a unique event at the time. Tesla was best known for his achievements and appearances that eventually earned him a reputation in popular culture as a mad scientist. His patents earned him a great deal of money, a large part of which was spent to finance his own projects whose successes varied. Tesla lived most of his life in a chain of New York hotels until his retirement. Tesla died on January 7, 1943. Hebe mentioned Tesla's relatively posthumous works until 1960 when the General Conference on Weights and Measures named the International Unit for measuring the density of the magnetic field Tesla in his honor. Since the 90s of the 20th century, interest in Tesla and his work has been renewed. But why the numbers? What was Nikola Tesla trying to make the world understand? First, you need to understand that we did not create mathematics, but discovered it. It is a universal language and law. No matter where you are in the universe, one plus two is always equal to three. Everything in the universe follows this law. There are naturally occurring patterns in the universe, the patterns we see in life, galaxies, star formations, evolution, and almost all natural systems. Some of these patterns are the golden ratio and sacred geometry. One of the really important systems is the power of nature for the force two binary system in which the pattern starts from one and continues to multiply the numbers. Cells and embryos develop according to this sacred pattern. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Mathematics can be called God's printing by this analogy. The math spiral is a pattern that repeats 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, 2, 4, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, 2, 4, 8. As you can see, 3, 6, and 9, they are not in this style. The scientist Marco Rodin believes that these numbers represent the third to fourth dimension of the vector that he calls the flow field. This field is assumed to be energy of higher dimensions that affects the energy circuit in the other six points. Randy Powell, a student of Mark's family, says this is the secret key to free energy, something we all know Tesla has mastered. Let's make it clear. Let's start from one, multiply to two, double two is four, multiply four is eight, eight is multiplied by 16, which means one plus six, and this is equal to seven. Multiply 16, 32 ends, three plus two equals five. Multiplication 32 is 64, resulting in a total of one. If we continue, we will follow the same pattern, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, 2. If we start from 1 in the opposite direction, we will still have the same formula in reverse order, half of them 0, 5 equal to 5, half 5 is 2, 5 equal to 7, and so on. As you can see, there is no mention of 3, 6, and 9. It's like they're out of this style. But when you start multiplying, there is something strange. Double 3 is 6, 6 double, resulting in 3. There is no mention of 9 in this style. It's like 9, completely free of both models. However, if you start to double 9, it will always lead to 918. 
36, 72, 144, 288, 576. This is called the symbol of enlightenment. If we go to the Great Pyramid of Giza, not only are there three larger pyramids in Giza, all side by side, reflecting the positions of the star in the Orion Belt, but we also see a cluster of three smaller pyramids next to the three larger pyramids. We find plenty of evidence that nature uses a triple or six-fold symmetry, including the hexagonal shape. These forms are in nature, and these forms may be emulated in the construction of sacred architecture. Is it possible that there is something special about the mysterious number three? Is it possible that Tesla has uncovered this deep mystery and used this knowledge to advance within the boundaries of science and technology? Same splendor in mind. Let's say that there are two opposites. One side is one, two, and four. The other side is eight, seven, and five. Like electricity, everything in the universe is a current between the polar sides like a pendulum, one, two, four, eight, seven, five, one. However, these two aspects are governed by three and six. Three, one, two, and four are amended, while six, eight, seven, and five are amended. And if you look at the model, one and two equals three, two and four equals six, four and eight equals three. 8 and 7 equals 6, 7 and 5 equals 3, 5 and 1 equals 6, 1 and 2 equals 3. The same large scale style is actually 3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6. But even these two sides, 3 and 6, follow 9, which shows something amazing. When you look closely at patterns 3 and 6, you realize that 3 and 6 are equal to 9, 6 and 3 are equal to 9, and all numbers are 9, both of which exclude and include 3 and 6. 9 means unity on both sides. 9 is the universe itself. Vibration, power and frequency, 3, 6 and 9. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think about energy, repetition and vibration. Nikola Tesla, this is the deepest philosophical truth. Just imagine what we can do if we use this sacred knowledge in everyday science. Today's science begins to study non-physical phenomena, and in decades it will make more progress than all previous centuries of its existence. Nikola Tesla.